Lucy. You just made a post about me trying to take your stripes. It's never my intention to take your stripes. My intention was what I did to answer you back because at the end of the day, you say you're a street guy, but yet dudes know certain things you mind your business. You acting like a puppy for Vlad. He asked you a question, many questions that I, I noticed that you just are getting people and you voice your opinion. And you got a right to your opinion. But street, some street dudes gonna automatically say, listen, man, I'm not at liberty to speak on that. I almost wanna speak on that, blah, blah. You went into this whole spiel, had the Holy Ghost hooping and hollering, jumping up about how I hurt you. So at the end of the day, I don't care about strife because guess what? You, people in Baton Rouge already New Orleans, gonna always speak my name, gonna say this about me, whether you say dirty, with defecation in your mouth, whatever, however you put it, you gonna always bring up gangsta because look how you entertaining me now. So at the end of the day, I don't know nothing about your strife. I know this here, the guys I was talked to, they just say you was a, a regular guy from the hood. I don't know nothing about stripes and all that. You know, what's the definition of stripes? Because when I came up, from what you talking about, it's two different things with stripes. And we're not going to compare uh, our street resume with one another because you know that don't stand up with each other. Um, you have an impeccable maybe rap career, but uh, street stuff, come on, man. We ain't going to talk about that. But at the end of the day, man, you know, like I said, I made a call to Angola, and this is what the homies told me. You saying you wasn't you... You do duplication fight. People who have duplication fights, that be people that be on lockdown. That's the only way you're going to have a duplication fight when you're in the cell blocks at the end of the day. So now, like I say, my thing is, man, you know, you, you feel some type of way because as me as a man, no matter what I did, no matter what choice I decide to make, I still have a right to respond back to you. And you feel like I, it, it seems like you're in your feelings because I took the stance to respond back to you. And like I say, Every time you say something about me or you have an opinion, I'm going to have one at the end of the day. No matter who uh, feathers I rough, no matter me giving up my ghetto license, my stripes, whatever you want to nickname it. You know, like you say, that's the choice I made. But remember this, Boosie. At no point in time when I got out of prison that I said I was going back to the block or that I said, hey, gangster back, I'm back to take over. Oh, yeah, there's a at no point that I come out and say that. I don't know if you've been sleeping under the rock or wherever you've been, but you can't find no video, no nothing to say uh, that I said, yeah, I'm back. I want my reputation. But yeah, at the end of the day, I never once proclaimed to want to come back home and rock like that. I know these young boys out there uh, running the streets. Now. I'm out there awake. But at the end of the day, you know, every time, you know, you feel the need that you had to say something, same, you know, I have a right to say something myself, you know, because... We both are men, and this is what men gonna do. You gonna say what you gonna say, and I'm gonna say what I wanna say. And at the end of the day, but like I've said before, and I'm gonna say this uh, 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 to everybody else again, I don't hate you, uh, I don't have no beef with you, but when you say something about me, or you speak on something you don't know nothing about, I'm gonna respond accordingly. And, and, and that's just what it is. You know, you say what you wanna say, I'm gonna say what I wanna say, man. You know, at the end of the day, you a man, I'm a man. You got your strikes. I, like you said, I gave mine up. But like I say, and I'm always continue to say, you can hide history, but you can't erase it. History been made with me already, so I don't care nothing about strikes, man. My mission now is to help the youth out, help the children out, man, help the at-risk youth, bro. So I don't care about strikes. Because at the end of the day, my name going to stay at the top. Because my thing is this. When I was in the game hard and heavy, if a dude was a snitch and I hated him, I didn't like snitches, I couldn't stand him, I never gave him no airplay. You giving me a lot of airplay, and I appreciate it. So, you know, for you to uh, go on your live, you know, they sent me, they always send me the link, everything you do. You went on your live this morning, you know, you defended your honor, you said you weren't in PC. And now you're riding your car, you come back and you're saying, you know, about your stripes. You know, and, and, and I've gotten uh, plenty of text messages, DMs. Uh, with people naming certain dudes you done ran with those rats, uh, certain stuff you done did. But I, I was like, nah, I ain't going to be uh, putting these other guys' names out there like that. But, you know, we all have people who who, who, who don't like us. And we all have people who going to send you stuff about me. I got people who sending me stuff about you. And like you say, it could be a lie. I mean, I'm just telling you, what they when I send word to Angola, this is what came back, bro. That's what the dudes told. And you even said on Vlad. And this guy's name Gola respect me, stand on my name, love me. So this is what the guy's telling me, man. I'm still plugging to Gola right now, you know. And then you say, ask uh, Warden King, you know that man retired from there or got fired from that name to Warden no more? 
So how are we going to ask him? You know? So at the end of the day, man, you be screaming yourself that you ain't paying attention to, bro. But like I say, you jumped out there when Vlad asked you that question. You, you was keeping it humble and cool. And then you just let your feelings like this. Just, huh, like you've been had that stuff bottled in, you know? And I never knew that. It's just with you and I. But I, I know now. So like I say, at the end of the day, man, you know, you started this. I respond to this. And now you all up in arms now. And, 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 and on one hand, I understand it because of the PC situation. And, you know, you didn't told the world that you was, you know, I guess with the killers in Gola. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I, I just got something different, you know. You wasn't in general pop. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, a man can't claim, yeah, I was in Gola if he wasn't out there in the field or uh, down the walk. You know, them dormitory cell block, that don't count, man. That's, P that's PC. That's really PC at the end of the day, you know. So, I mean, and I heard about you in DCI. I heard about the stories when you was in DCI. Matter of fact, you was in DCI with one of my brothers, one of my blood brothers, you know. Um, I have family there in DCI, man. I'm everywhere, you know. So, but at the end of the day, you know, this is the life we, we both chose, you know. You're in the entertainment business. I was once a street gangster. I gave that call up. And um, I'm enjoying life. I'm happy I'm free. Uh, like I say, uh, I don't hate you. Uh, I don't have no beef with you. I don't want no beef with you. But when I see opportunity, when every time you say something, I have to respond, man. You know, I get paid for you on my YouTube channel now. And this is entertaining for the people. The people want to hear this stuff. The people like the content that I'm giving them. And uh, as, like I said, I'm, I'm going to reiterate this over and over to you till I get it through your head. I don't want to be a gangster no more. I don't care about ghetto stripes. You're right. I get it up. When I decided to sit down with them people and give them what I gave them. But at the end of the day, I'm free, Boosie. You never see me on no video saying, yeah, gangsta bag. Yeah, y'all know what it is. And how you keep saying is this. This will make a person question your gangsterism. If I say that word right, is this that a word? Uh, you keep on saying, man, I'm official, man. I'm real from here, 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 here. Boosie, now one time have you heard me say that. But you said it for me. You said I had people glorifying me. You said that I was a real street dude. You said about me hitting the block and rappers talking about me and anything. You said that. I didn't say that. But you keep on telling me what you are. Because you got to always keep in mind, whenever you do something in the streets, the streets going to talk for you. You ain't got to say it. You ain't got to keep beating my head that you a real dude, that you a gangster, or, or that you got stripes or whatever the case may be. You ain't got to beat me over the head with that. It's going to be rappers. It's going to be hood dude. It's going to be people that came up with you that's going to speak for you. That's going to say, yeah, they're going to vouch for that, you know, at the end of the day. And yeah, you're right. I gave up all that. And I was standing on, yeah, I gave up all that for this freedom. And I'm loving this freedom, man. And this is the life I chose. I know how I feel to be on the other end of gangster end. I already rocked that. Now I'm a square. L7. That's what it is for me. You know, lame, or you call me a rat, snitch, whatever you want to call it, man. Just don't call me collect because I can't afford to pay them bills right now. You know, I'm, I'm trying to get it together now. But, uh, bro, I love the fact that you chose to answer me and that you're giving this platform. I really thank you for this. And like I say, man, I don't have no beef with you. I don't hate you. I don't want no beef with you. All I want to do is put my content out to the people. But... When I do respond, I'm going to respond with uh, sincereness in my heart, you know, and I'm going to speak, you know, my mind how it is, you know, because you're speaking yours. You're speaking your truth, and I'm speaking how I feel, my truth, you know. At the end of the day, man, you know, you know, it's always going to be a divide and conquer game, you know. You know, you made a statement that I heard you. You made a statement, you know, about you took me out your legend book, bro. You know, I didn't know I was in your book. I didn't know I made that kind of impact on you, you know. But um, I'm happy you said that. I'm happy you shared that with the world. And now I got people making shirts for me. The guy just sent me this. I just got this shirt. They making stuff for me. They got gangster. You see that there? People making shirts, sending this stuff to me, man. And I and I thank you. I thank Nino Calvin. <sighs> Who else? Uh, Birdman, shout out to him. You know, because, and most important, shout out to Vlad. Vlad, you a bad boy. Vlad is the one that's behind. Oh, and I really, listen, Vlad, you paid me. 
You you know, you showed me love. You kept your word. We did what we did. I signed that W-9 form, you know, and I appreciate that. You know, you got me at 1.2 million views within two weeks. Rapper's not doing that. I'm doing something. I'm a regular hood dude, you know, come did 23 years, 10 months in prison, came home, and now I got the stuff in a frenzy. I got rappers coming out of nowhere. I got people coming out with their stories. Little me, you know. And like I said, I appreciate it. I appreciate this five minutes of fame you all giving me. I'm just trying to collect my little checks, and then I'm going to get on out the way because it's going to be somebody else going to come through with a story or somebody else going to come through with a hot topic. But right now, I'm burning that internet up. I'm burning that YouTube up, and that's what it is, man. And I appreciate it, man. Thank you, bro. But at the end of the day, man, I'm not trying to take your stripes. Your stripes are your stripes. A man can't never take no man's stripes. We can only have words. We can only say how we feel about uh, your stripes gone or you don't have it. But at the end of the day, the work been done. At the end of the day, whenever you whenever you or whoever else speak about people from New Orleans, gangsters from New Orleans, or gangsters from Louisiana, my name won't come up regardless. No matter how much you hate to say it, how much duffication is going to be in your mouth when you say it, you're going to have to holler at gangsters. you got to say that at the end of the day. This is what he did. Yeah, I feel like he's a rat. He's a snitch. But guess what? He laid this groundwork. This is what he did. So when y'all see all that goofy stuff, all that work for nothing, uh, take the gangster off your name, this and that, Man, I don't worry about y'all telling me what to do. If that's the case, I would have never got through how I got through in life. You know, I made it this far by making my own choices and decisions. You know, but at the end of the day, I don't live that gangster life no more. You know, all that stuff been forfeited. And I'm one of the first ones to say that to the world. I am not a gangster. I do not live that gangster lifestyle no more. You know, I mean, my past is my past. Right now, we're in the present, baby. We're in the present. And uh, like I said, I'm going to say again. I don't hate you. I don't have beef with you. I don't want to beef with you. I just want to put my content out to the people on my YouTube channel. And I just, you know, want to get my check, man. And I'm out, man.